Hi everyone, it's Miss Hernandez here and my daughter Odetta. Odetta, say hi. 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 We're here to read you a story. It's called Maybe Something Beautiful, written by Isabel Compoy and illustrated by Can Rafael Lopez. So today we're going to learn how art can transform a neighborhood. In the heart of a gray city, there lived a girl who loved to doodle, draw, color, and paint. Every time she saw a blank piece of paper, Mira thought to herself, hmm. And because of this, her room was filled with color and her heart was filled with joy. On her way to school one day, Mira gave a round apple to Mr. Henry, the owner of the shop down the street. She gave a flower to Ms. Lopez, the lady with sparkling eyes. She gave a songbird to Mr. Sachs and a heart to the policeman who walked up and down the streets. On her way home, Mira tapped a glowing sun into the wall hiding in the shadows. Her city was less gray, but not much. The next day, Mira saw a man with a pocket full of paintbrushes. He gazed at the wall. He looked at the sun, and he held his fingers up in a square and peered through them. Hmm, he said thoughtfully. What do you see? Mira asked. Maybe something beautiful, he replied. Just then, like that, he dipped a brush into the paint. Bam, pow, the shadow scurried away. Sky blue cut through the gloom. The man's laughter was like a rainbow speeding across the sky. Who are you? Mira asked. I'm the artist, he said. An artist? I paint on the walls. I'm an artist too, she told him. He handed Mira a brush. Then come on. Mira dipped it into the loudest color she saw. Yeah, we. The wall lit up like sunshine. Hi, Mommy. As the man drew pictures on the bricks, Hi. Mira added color, Hi. a punch and pizzazz. Hi. Soon, Mr. Sachs joined in. Then came others. Mommy. Everyone painted to the rhythm. Mommy. Salsa, merengue, and bebop. Even Mira's mama painted and danced the cha-cha-cha. The whole neighborhood became a giant block party. Until... The policeman walked up. Excuse me, he said. The music stopped. Mira put down her brush. They were surely in trouble. The officer cleared his throat, then paused. May I paint with you, he asked. So Mira handed him a paintbrush, and the music started again. Teachers and papas jumped in, too. Babies, too. Mira and the man handed out brush after brush. Color spread through the streets, and so did joy. Wherever Mira and the man went, art followed like the string of a kite. After they colored the walls, they painted utility boxes and benches. They decorated sidewalks with poetry and shine, and everyone danced. Together, they created something more beautiful. When their clothes were splattered with a million colors, everyone sat down. Except the muralist. His eyes sparkled. You, my friends, are all artists, he told them. The world is your canvas. He smiled wide, then pulled everything together in big, sweeping motions. His paintbrush was like a magic wand. When he was finished, Mira added one more bird, way up in the sky. Maybe, she thought. Just maybe. The end. A note from the authors. Maybe Something Beautiful is based on a true story. At one time, the colorful East Village near downtown San Diego, California did not have murals on the walls, nor quotes from Gandhi, Martin Luther King, or Cesar Chavez. Written on the sidewalk. Benches were not on the works of art you see now, and people living in the area were not part of the vibrant community that they are today. Instead, the streets were gray and drab. But one day, a husband and wife team, he an artist, she a graphic designer and community leader, moved in and transformed their neighborhood into a place of beauty. Rafael and Candace Lopez designed a plan to bring people together, 
to create art so that their neighborhood become a better place for all to live. They held meetings in their home to share the idea. Everyone was invited. Police officers, graffiti artists, teachers, single parents, children, homeless people, and more. With the help of many, the Urban Art Trail was born, and volunteers of all ages, races, and walks of life committed themselves to a common goal, reinventing their community through art. First came murals entitled The Joy of Living and The Strength of the Woman. Then the community painted utility boxes and benches, bright colors. They crafted mosaics around the trees along the street. Raphael and Candace had noticed that in their neighborhood, people often looked down at the ground as they walked. So they painted poems in calligraphy on the sidewalk. Little by little, the entire neighborhood became a work of art and an inspiration to those that lived there. The impact of the art in the neighborhood grew. Some of the paint benches were auctioned off and the money provided classes and scholarships for students who had an interest in art. Visitors came to admire donations. Big and small came in, and what had once seemed to be an impossible dream became the trademark of San Diego's East Village. The movement prompted by the urban art trail spread far across the community. Communities throughout the United States have commissioned Raphael's work, and neighborhoods as far as away as Canada and Australia have implemented the model for community-based art. Maybe Something Beautiful, illustrated by the muralist who inspired it, was written in honor of Raphael and Candace Lopez and all the quiet leaders in our neighborhood. It is an invent invitation to transform not only the walls and streets of our city, but also the minds and hearts of our community. The end. So, looking forward to seeing the beautiful things you make. Bye-bye.